help. So last time it came uh, passing by uh, here was um, when Stone Age was happening. So um, that's really rare. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a green comet. And it'll be passing Earth for the first time in 50,000 years. So one of the things that makes this comet interesting is that because it has such a long period, it takes so long to go around its orbit. It doesn't come by the sun very often, and every time something passes by the sun, its chemical composition changes. And so this is a really great way to learn about what the very early solar system was made up of. The Green Comet, also known as C-2022E3ZTF, was discovered last March and is expected to be closest to Earth Wednesday night. Comets will have much more stretched out orbits and they come from much further out in the solar system. Uh, and so this comet comes from the Oort cloud, which is past Pluto, uh, very, very far away. And what gives the comet its greenish hue? Pahut says it's a result of its chemical composition. Comet in general is a giant ball of ice. Um, if there is enough carbon and cyanogen in the comet material, then when the sun heats it up, it'll start to glow kind of greenish. And so the color of this comet is due to its uh, chemical composition. Due to its position in the sky, Canadians are in an ideal place to spot it. And all you would need is a pair of binoculars. So unless you're in a really dark sky, it'll be hard to see the comet with your naked eye. So if you have access to a telescope, that's great. Many people don't. So if you have access to binoculars, they're actually a really great astronomy tool for looking for the comet. So if you decide to stargaze, experts say you can spot the comet between the Big and Little Dipper and try to look for something a bit fuzzier than a regular star. It's something really special when you connect with the sky, always. In Winnipeg, Sweet Arassi, City News. In one minute.